Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching, and if you're not new, thank you for joining me once again. I do appreciate it. So today I'm bringing you four fall DIYs. DIY number one will be one of the slatted leaves from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to be mixing the uh, orange acrylic paint with some nutmeg brown acrylic paint. I just need a deeper orange for my leaf. I'll also be using King's Gold acrylic paint. All of these are acrylic paints. Some Sienna and some green. Now I will put a link to the place where I got the sienna and the green acrylic paints in the description box. So I'm just mixing the orange with the brown with my fan brush and I'm getting most of or a lot of the um, acrylic paint off my brush and I'm just lightly going over the leaf. So I'm dragging the brush from the top to the bottom but just barely touching it. I don't want a lot of paint on this. And then without um, wiping off my brush I'm changing the colors now to the King's Gold. And I'm just doing the same thing. And I'm going to do this with the other colors as well. Now on with the Sienna, which is like a rust colored paint. I just wanted to put all the different colors of fall in my one leaf. So again, I'm just using the fan brush and I'm just doing light strokes from the bottom, from the top to the bottom of the leaf and the bottom to the top, going in the same direction. Now I'm going to put in some uh, chocolate brown acrylic paint to do the stem of the leaf. Or it could be nutmeg brown. I'm not sure. One of the two colors anyway. It's probably the nutmeg. And I'm also going to add that to the leaf itself because, you know, I mean, there's brown in the leaves. You have all the colors. You, you could probably get all the colors in one leaf. I know back home in West Virginia, um, you see the colors all the time. I mean, beautiful. I do miss that here in Texas. We basically have green and brown. And now I'm just getting in between the slats where you see those boards underneath. I also want to get those painted. So I'm just, since I missed them on the first go around, I'm just adding a little paint to those. And this skinny fan brush gets right in those cracks real easy. Now I'm going uh, with the green. And I forget what color this is. If I, uh, I could probably get the link in the description box for the color. Again, just using the same process, although I am putting a little less green than I did the orange and the yellow. Now 
adding a little to the stem. Now that we're done with the paints, we're going to distress the outside of the leaf edges with this distress ink. And I will put the link to that also in the description box. Now I had started out just putting the ink pad on the edges of the leaf but it didn't seem to uh, give me the look that I was going for. So you'll see in a few seconds here, and here it is, how I take this foam brush and I just dip it in the ink, pressing down a couple times, and then go over the edge of the leaf. And that gave me the look that I was uh, hoping for. And like I said, this is distressing ink and this is in a green, it's a green, this particular one is green ink. And I'm just going all along the edges of this leaf. even the stem. I think it's looking pretty. I want to add some words to it. So I cut some vinyl out on my Cricut and it says fall for Jesus. He never leaves. So this vinyl is Oracle vinyl. <clears throat> And I will put the link to it in a description box. Now, the problem I had was I used contact paper as my transfer tape for this vinyl. Now, vinyl is like people. We're all different. So this vinyl does not work well with contact paper. And if, as you'll see in a later DIY, I use uh, a different transfer tape and it works wonderful. So don't use contact paper with the Oracle matte vinyl. I used a uh, paper studio uh, transfer tape with it and it worked like a charm. But I sped this up quite a bit. So I did, you know, I did have to uh, work with it for a while. Like I said, it was due to me using a contact paper, a contact as my transfer sheet. And there it is. Now I have to add the um, hanger. So I like my knots to be in the front. So I'm just putting my jute through the hole and I'm just going to tie a knot. And then I'll do the other side. And now I have this these orange strings and these actually came from a burlap ribbon that I have pulled the strings out to make um, flowers out of. So when you do that, make sure you keep your strings because you can always use them on other projects. So I'm just making a simple bow out of it and uh, we'll place, I, I, I'm not sure if I place a, I don't think I place a sunflower on it. I thought about it and then I decided not to. So I just trim off the ends and hot glue it onto the bottom of the stem of the leaf. And 
and this project is complete. Fall for Jesus, he never leaves. Now on to DIY number two. For this one, we're gonna be using one of those long wood pumpkin pieces from the Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna use my antique uh, wax for this. I have some bamboo skewers and also a pumpkin. And I put the wax on the pumpkin and the bamboo skewers. Now the skewers are the, the really long ones that you get during the summer at uh, the Dollar Tree. And then I have this chalk, black chalk board paint that my daughter gave me, and I'm painting this board with it. And I just give it one coat. That's all it needs. I wish I could paint that fast. I believe this is sped up five times. <laughs> hey we could get a lot more done right and I do paint the edges and now I have my tan and white twine that I got from the Dollar Tree and I just wrapped it around my four fingers several times to make a bow and then tied it in the center and we're going to add that to the pumpkin that we've already put the uh, antiquing wax on we're just going to hot glue that right there on the stem where the hole is. So that covers that hole up. And I'm going to put some hot glue and some wood glue on that pumpkin. And I'm just going to glue it to the top of my board. And now I'm taking some wood glue and I'm putting it very close to the edge of the board and adding some hot glue in the spaces where there is no wood glue and I'm going to glue down the bamboo bamboo skewer so I saw another crafter do this and I thought this was a brilliant idea using these skewers as um, a frame for a piece of art well a craft project I guess I think it's a piece of art but <laughs> so I put one on each side and then I um, see how much I need for the ends and I mark those two pieces and I cut them to size And then I stain them and I use the same glue method and put on the skewers on the ends. And I do clean up the glue that's around the edges. So I have some more twine and uh, it's the same as the bow that we made on the pumpkin. And I have about four pieces of it and I'm just uh, making a hanger for it. I um, glued the ends and then so I could poke them through the holes and then again I put my knots in the front part of my sign. Now I have this uh, fall to-do list that I cut out on my Cricut and this vinyl is the um, paper studio vinyl and I'm using the contact paper with it as a transfer sheet and it works perfectly. So, like I said, not all vinyls are created equal. They're all different. So, even though, you know, it works, the contact paper works for this vinyl, it doesn't work for all vinyls. And I wanted my top 10 fall list, to-do list, um, up at the top and then more space in between it and the things to do. And the little circles there are for anyone who has this, you know, you can mark off as you do it, like jump in the leaves, go on a hayride, that kind of thing. So you can just take a chalk pen and mark off what you do. 
I thought it was a, a, a cute little thing for families to do if there's certain things they want to do for the fall. And for the most part, this just peels off. Uh, there's a few places that um, I have to go back and burnish on. Sometimes I struggle with vinyl, but then other times it's just, I mean, it's great. <laughs> Do you all have that problem? Now my R for my hay ride was all wonky, so I have to fix that. So I just have my little, I don't know, weeding tool, I guess, from the Dollar Tree, and I'm just trying to straighten it up. It takes a little while to get it just where it needs to be. And then when I finally have it where I think it looks good, I um, press it down to my board, making sure that it's gonna stay there. Not quite right, so I need to straighten it a little more. making sure everything's stuck down. So you go through corn maze, dram drink apple cider, uh, pick a pumpkin. And now we're gonna put a leaf and a sunflower on the pumpkin at the top. So this is where I use the sunflower. You get out your supplies and you think you're gonna do one thing, but once you get into it, you decide, you know, it's not going to look right. So it's kind of trial and error. Okay, so the pumpkin's all decorated, and now we have this blank space down at the bottom of our sign. And um, I guess I thought the camera was rolling for this, but it wasn't. I used three leaves and a bigger sunflower for the bottom. And I love the way this turned out. I think it's great. So on to DIY number three. And you guys will have to tell me which um, one is your favorite. So I have this eight by 10 canvas from the Dollar Tree and I'm just uh, pulling up the staples and I just used a flathead screwdriver. Now this is a little difficult and there were 20 staples on this thing. And then I just used my pliers to uh, pull them out. So I put the canvas aside, we're not gonna use it and uh, this particular frame was, um, I don't know, kind of wonky like, so I had to sand it down. And I just used some a chocolate brown um, acrylic paint watered down and I'm using it as a stain for my frame. And I'm putting it on the whole frame and then I'm just wiping it down with a, a dry paper towel afterwards. So just using the acrylic paint as a stain. Now with the paint that's left over, it was just a little bit, I add some white to it because I have these planks I wanna paint. And I added water to it also. So I have three of the planks that you get from the Dollar Tree. They come six in a package. So I'm painting three of them front, back, and sides. And then once I get them painted, I'm wiping them down. And then I'm using my, uh, I think it's the nut, nutmeg brown and putting it in the rest of that watered down, um, yeah, watered down leftover paint. And I'm painting the bottom of the acorn and wiping it down. So it's a little darker than the uh, boards we just did. Not much, but a little bit. And then I'm taking the darker uh, brown, which is the chocolate, 
and doing the acorn top. And I didn't clean my brush and it's cool how it made these streaks in the top of the acorn. I thought that was a happy little accident as Bob Ross would say. Look at that. I love it. So I'm going to be using wood glue. I have my three planks and my acorn. Now these planks barely fit on the back of this frame. So I have to put my glue right on the edge. And I do add a little bit of hot glue also in the places that there aren't, that I didn't put any um, wood glue. So I want this plank to be at the top, the very top of this um, frame. And we're going to do the same thing to the bottom, only this time I put the glue on the plank, which I think worked out better. And then I took the hot glue and put it on the outside edges where the plank meets the frame on all of these pieces. And here I am putting on the last piece, and that's the one in the middle. So I only used the wood glue for this to put it on, and then I went around the two edges with the hot glue. So it looks like I lost some footage there where I put the acorn on the bottom of the uh, frame. But there it is, and then I have this piece of vinyl that says Fall Vibes. And this is with the Oracle uh, Matte Vinyl. And I'm using the Paper Studio Transfer Tape, and you'll see how much better this works with this vinyl. I mean, it's like a dream. Look at that. Go slow. Don't rush it. But look at that. No problems whatsoever. And that was a piece of the... Uh, vinyl that I forgot to weed out. Okay, so I have these leaf florals that I got from Bed Bath & Beyond and I'm just hot gluing the bottoms of the stems underneath the acorn. But it's going, I'm gluing them to the plank in the back and then I'm gluing down a few of the leaves, not all of them, but a few here and there to the planks. And this floral piece had um, the tan leaves and the orange leaves. And then it had like this velvety orange leaf in there, which I thought was cool. And then I have this little jute bow for my acorn to cover up the hole. And I just continue adding a few more leaves. And I think the uh, vinyl goes really good with the color in these leaves. Look at that. I know you can't see it real good. My camera was out of focus. And now we're going to add a hanger. So I just have a piece of jute. I'm going to put knots on either end <clears throat> and then just glue it down to the back. And that's all there is to the hanger. And I did see another crafter... Um, make a piece very similar to this and I did get the idea from her thank you very much um, there it is fall vibes with the acorn love it okay DIY number four and this is the final DIY so I have these two cereal bowls they're just plastic I think they came from Walmart now um, I lost the footage. I thought my camera was rolling for this, but it wasn't. So all I'm telling you is I took these two bowls and I glued them together with a lot of hot glue. 
It was a little difficult, but you just had to keep at it until you got it done. Now I have this chevron um, burlap ribbon and polka dot burlap ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree in orange. And I'm just gluing them to the bowl. So as you can see, I already have the one end glued down and I'm gluing down the, the other end of it. So I'm taking the ribbon and this is this will be the top of our pumpkin and I'm wrapping it all the way around. When you get to the bottom portion, you just put a dot of hot glue and you wanna use your little cosmetic um, tool there to help you out because you don't wanna burn your fingers. And then I, I wrap the ribbon till I get to where I started and then I just add hot glue to the end of the ribbon and press it down. And then, so I'm alternating the ribbons. So I used a chevron, a um, polka dot, and now I'm adding another chevron. So I'll just keep doing that until I get the whole pumpkin covered. And I mean, this, I thought this worked out really good. Now I did see, um, is it Jenny from Lovely Moments Creating? I saw her do a couple big bowls from the Dollar Tree like this. So I got the idea from her. So if you haven't looked her up, look her up. Lovely Moments Creating and her name is Jenny. Now her, her pumpkin looked a lot different from mine. And mine's a lot smaller. So these are just kitchen cereal bowls. You can see I always add a dot of glue to where the ribbon um, glues down to the bottom. And again, I alternate the ribbons. So I just used a polka dot one. So now I'm gonna use another uh, chevron. So let me know which uh, DIY you like best. Just put it in the comments. I think I like this pumpkin the best. I mean, it's cool that you can take two bowls, just ordinary bowls, plastic, and turn it into something pretty like this pumpkin. I like the fall vibes to the um, DIY number three. Actually, I like them all, but I think the pumpkin is my favorite. So let me know in the comments which one is your favorite. And do you think you'll be making any of these? And I think this um, orange polka dot and chevron ribbon from the Dollar Tree was just perfect for this pumpkin. Because it's orange. And you know, pumpkins are orange. I love creating stuff. I don't know, it just kind of makes you feel good, doesn't it? So 
So after this piece of ribbon, we only have one more to add to it. And then we can start decorating. Yay, that's the best part, right? And I tell you what, if you don't have one of these um, makeup silicone tools or whatever, you should get yourself one from the Dollar Tree because they make um, using hot glue on things that the glue seeps through oh, so much better. It saves your fingers so much pain and anguish. I can't tell you how many blisters I've gotten from hot glue. Okay, so where we put the ends together, that's going to be the top of the pumpkin. Now, I do have a stick, well, a limb, a piece of a limb that my husband cut down when he trimmed our trees in the backyard. These were from Crepe Myrtles, and it was a piece I had left over. So I just glued that onto the top for our stem. And then I have this uh, paper, brown paper covered wire that I got from Hobby Lobby. It was in the um, fall section, so it was 40 or 50% off. I can't remember when I got it, if it was 40 or 50. And I'm just, I folded it in half and then um, wrapping the ends around that silicone uh, tool in there. And then I'm just going to wrap that around my stem and actually twist it one turn and tightened it up. And then I reshaped it. And those are our tendrils. They're so cute. And now I have this bag of raffia. And I have some pieces in the very bottom. And these are just little small pieces I cut off of other things. And I'm just going to make, I'm just going to grab a bunch of the pieces and tie them together. And that's going to be our bow going to cut them down because they'll be kind of short so you know if you think man these little pieces of raffia I cut off I can't use them for anything well guess what you can I know it's hard not to throw things away or throw things away and then you're like dang I could have used that yeah I've done it been there done that So, I mean, even the smallest piece there, you can use it to make these bows. So, I'm just picking up enough to make a nice full bow. Trimming it up as I go a little bit. Just cutting it down. I'll trim it up later. So this is what you can do with your scrap raffia. And then I just take another piece of raffia and I tie it in a knot around the center of it and then I trim it up. Now the pieces I trimmed off of that I would throw away. And there it is. Isn't that cute? It's so cute. Perfect. Perfect for the pumpkin. So I'm just holding it there until the glue sets because I'm going to be lifting it up and putting the leaves underneath it. So again, um, well, I have this leaf here that I cut down. I'm just going to glue it up underneath the raffia there. 
And then I had a couple more pieces off of that leaf that I'm going to put on there. And then I have these orange leaves that I used on the previous project. The ones from Bed Bath & Beyond. I'm going to use some of those. So I'm just going to keep adding leaves until um, I like the way it looks. Some of you probably want less leaves and some of you might want more decorations on your pumpkin. So just slide it up under the um, raffia. Adding leaves to my heart's content. And guys, if you would uh, like and share my videos, I would totally appreciate it. And if you haven't already subscribed, please feel free to do so. I love new subscribers. And if you're new, let me know. And, uh, you know, thank you for stopping by. And if you're not new, thank you for watching my videos. I would love to get to 500 subscribers by the end of September. That would be wonderful. So I know you guys can help me do that. And if you would, mm -hmm. I would much appreciate it. And I love you all. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And I think this is the last leaf I put on, but I can't be sure. I think I add one more after this. Obviously, this wasn't enough. And there's glue hairs. Yep, one more leaf. Actually, I think two more, <laughs> two more leaves. I guess you can't have too many. Well, you probably can, but. I probably do get a little carried away with the leaves. I hope I'm not alone in that. <laughs> Nope, I guess that is it. And there's our pumpkin. No, see, I did add another one. I knew it. I love it. Thank you all for joining me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.